at the end of this video, you should be able to graph vertical and horizontal lines. All right? First of all, a vertical line, hopefully you know, is a line that goes straight up and down, and a horizontal line is a line that goes horizontal or left and right. Okay? If we have the line x equals some number, it is going to be a vertical line. And if we have the line y equals some value, it is going to be a horizontal line. Okay? You can memorize these. I'm also going to show you a different way that will help, hopefully, in the memorization process or to kind of visualize why something is a vertical line or why something's a horizontal line. Okay, if we look at the first example, we have x equals 2. Well, I know from just looking up at my notes up here that the line x equals 2 will be a vertical line. So it's got to go up and down. And since it says x equals 2, it's going to go up and down at x equals 2. All right, if you're not into memorizing, another way that we could do this, we could make an xy table and then try to fill in points. We know that x has to be 2. So x equals 2, I'm going to pick three points. All of the x's always have to be 2. Now the y's, I can put one in whatever I want. So I might put 1, 2, 3. Okay, so if I go to graph those points, the point 2, 1 is over 2 and up 1. The point 2, 2 is over 2 and up 2. And the point 2, 3 is over 2 and up 3. So notice they're forming that vertical line. Right? Problem 11, y equals negative 3. Well, again, I know from looking up at my notes that the line y equals will be a horizontal line. So I'm going to go down to negative 3 and make a horizontal line that goes through y equals negative 3. Okay? And again, if you just kind of want to see why that happened, okay, this time um, I get to pick any x's that I want because it doesn't tell me what x has to be. So I'm going to pick 1, 2, and 3. But it tells me the y value has to be negative 3. So for each of these, the y has to be negative 3. So I'm going to go over 1, down 3, over 2, down 3, over 3, down 3. So notice for each of those, I did still get a horizontal line when I did that. Um, one other thing that other kids in class have found useful is you'll notice that um, an x equals line goes through the x-axis and it goes in the opposite direction as the x-axis. Um, the y equals, it actually goes through the y-axis. And then, then the line y x equals negative 1. Um, we know that it has to go through the x-axis. So if it's going to go through the x-axis at negative 1, and notice it really just goes through in one spot. And it's a vertical line. And there we go. And some people also look, it's always perpendicular to the axis that it is. So it's the x equals is perpendicular. That line is perpendicular to the x-axis. So hopefully now you can graph vertical and horizontal lines.